Welcome to another video of Warp PLS series. In the first few videos, we are talking about different concepts that we must know before we start using Warp PLS for our data analysis. In this video, we will talk about the difference between construct and items. So let's just have the definitions of the constructs and the items. Uh, constructs are broad concepts, or they are the broad or general topics for study. For the sake of understanding, we can take two examples of constructs. For example, life satisfaction is a construct. In the same manner, customer satisfaction can be taken as a construct. Now, some of us uh, know these things as variables that we usually use in our uh, research studies. But variables are actually created by developing the construct into measurable form. Now, the idea is that how can you know if somebody is satisfied with his or her life? How can we know that our customer is satisfied? Now, in order to know the life satisfaction or the customer satisfaction, we need to ask certain number of questions from a person. And then we are going to determine that the person is satisfied or the customer is satisfied. So variables are created by developing the constructs into measurable form. So how do we measure those variables? So uh, let's talk about uh, some more variables and then we'll move towards the items. Examples of variables include height in inches, for example, because if you uh, take a height from uh, of different people, it will be different. It will vary from one person to the other person. That is why we call it variables. Uh, if you talk about uh, the sources of depression, so different people feel depression from different factors or different sources are there. So this may also vary. Inventory in different stores, this may also vary. And then ages of, uh, for example, employees. Uh, the same way you can also talk about some other variables like health, uh, like the number of cigarettes uh, one person smokes. And the moment you go from one person to the other person for collecting the data, this value of variable will change. That is why it is known as variable. So then what, what are items? Items are the elements through which you measure a construct. As we said, that construct is a broad concept or a general topic of study, like life satisfaction and customer satisfaction. But how do we measure it? We measure a construct with the help of certain questions or certain statements that are known as items. So example of uh, items of customer satisfaction are service, staff attitude, and room service. So let's just understand this in the form of uh, difference between construct and the item. So I suppose that customer satisfaction is our construct, which is a general uh, area of study or which is a broad concept, customer satisfaction. But in order to measure this customer satisfaction, what kind of questions we are going to ask from that uh, customer? So let's suppose we ask that person or that customer three questions. And we're talking about the customer satisfaction of a hotel. So first we'll ask him about the service of the hotel. If the service was okay or not. Now. Let's suppose he says the service was very good. So it is going to indicate that customer is satisfied. Then we'll ask second question or maybe number of questions related to uh, the second uh, element. So the staff of the hotel is good. So this is going to be our second question. And if the person says that the staff was very good, then we will assume that customer is satisfied. In the same way, uh, we can also ask him about uh, the rooms of the hotel uh, were good or they were well-made 
or anything related to the rooms. So customer satisfaction can be considered as a construct which is measured by, let's say, for the sake of understanding, with these three items or with these three uh, questions or statements. So in this case, customer satisfaction, the general concept, and not known as a construct. But this construct is measured in the form of variable through different items. So the number of questions you're using to measure one construct is known as your items. These are the items and this is your construct. Let's talk about another example of life satisfaction. Now, how can we know that a person uh, is satisfied with his or her life? Now, one simple uh, way of asking is that if you're satisfied or not, but this it, the constructs are not that simple. You need to have multiple ways of understanding these constructs. So let's take the items of this life satisfaction construct. The first item can be, in most ways, my life is close to ideal. So if you think that your life is close to ideal, that is the indication that you are satisfied with your life. The conditions of my life are excellent. Another item through which you are measuring life satisfaction. I am satisfied with my life, although it's a direct uh, item, but still it is also measuring the life satisfaction. Another item can be so far, I have gotten the important things I want in life. Another item, if I could live my life over, I would change almost nothing. So in this example, we're also saying that life satisfaction is a construct which is being measured by these five items. You can also uh, imagine different constructs like happiness, uh, like organizational commitment, like uh, uh, job burnout, uh, like brand loyalty. All those uh, things are known as construct, but when we try and measure those things with different number of questions, those questions or those statements through which we are trying to measure uh, these constructs are known as items. So this is the main difference between a construct and an item. And when we'll be using it in Warp PLS, you will be making a construct using number of items. So you need to have a clear idea and you need to be very clear in uh, the difference between construct and items. In the next videos, we'll talk about some more concepts and then we'll move towards our uh, WAR PLS data analysis. Thank you very much.